another episode with Vigil Vlogs and as you know we're always in the kitchen but today someone else is going to do that for us so today is a nyamachoma kind of day and today we're going to be making nyamachoma but don't worry guys I'm not the one who will be making the nyamachoma I'm going to take you through the steps and just show you how everything happens in the kitchen guys so don't worry about anything I'm just going to take you through the process and you guys are going to see how we make nyama it's up to you guys keep it locked and enjoy the process I hope you guys are going to you're going to enjoy this because actually I am enjoying this already before I even start cooking so just keep it locked and for those who are new here to my channel please subscribe to my channel and thank you for stopping by everyone who's been watching my videos thank you so much I stopped for more videos like this in the meantime welcome let's enjoy this is our meat and we're gonna start by cutting out our meat so guys the reason as to why we are cutting our meat this way is to let our spices soak in into the meat so that we can start um, marination so guys here are our ingredients these are two onions you just chop them anyhow really big big sizes and then this is our garlic, this is nine cloves, and then this is our spices. This is mixed curry seasoning, this is our Roycom choosy mix, our black pepper, and our salt. Here is the Roycom choosy mix. There, black pepper, this is salt, and this is our ginger. So we are going to mix everything in and then put it inside the meat cuts. So here is our yogurt, but this uh, step is optional so we are going to put our spices into the yogurt and then mix your mixture nicely it is plain yogurt guys it's not flavored So now uh, apply your mixture to your meat. Now, yeah, this is for the marination purposes. Marinate nicely, guys. And as I told you, I'm not the one doing this today. So my in-law is here helping me out. So for those who are who don't know, you can actually use beer to marinate your meat if you want to. It is absolutely not necessary, but you can try. Just complicate your stuff uh, a little bit. You never know. We are humans. Is it beer or beer? Beer. 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 <laughs> the pronunciation varies from one house to, <laughs> to another. So just leave your meat for two and a half hours and then you'll be good to go. For now, we're just going to cover it. So you just put in your foil nicely. I'm asked for you to use the baking tray. You could actually use something different. We are putting this in our OTG, so we'll start first with this meat and then we can continue with the rest of the meat. So this is the rest of the meat. We are going to grill it in another This goes there. Okay. 
so there's your onions and garlic cloves garlic cloves first then this is after 40 minutes we are checking guys our meat is incoming 40 minutes to checking this is the situation here yeah. so this is it coming too so this is how you check your meat going to add in some potatoes so we are just going to put some olive oil and then we're going to sprinkle some salt this is our salt and then we're going to put in some lemon and then something else you have to keep on checking your meat to make sure it's being cooked there's no like precise timing you can say three hours but maybe it won't be ready you have to keep on checking your meat after every like an hour you check so now when we're adding our potatoes it's because it's almost done so we don't want our potatoes to also overcook because when you put them early they'll definitely overcook and that would be good so there's our potatoes because people are making too much noise i can't feel nicely but our meat is done, but our potatoes are not yet done. We'll have to keep them a bit longer. So we're going to chop the meat. My YouTube people, there is our nyama. <laughs> You eat your nyamachoma with some ugali, kachumbari, the potato on the side, and the goat meat, guys. This is so yummy. This ugali is sabolina ugali. It's not uh, our usual flour that we use back at home, but this one is just on a different level. So my kachumbari is spicy, guys. It has a lot of chili. So this is how you eat this. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.